Hi friends, welcome to the channel Basio B Tech. So let us start doing electrical engineering question paper. See, there is a frequently asked question that is nodal analysis. Okay. 13A, find the current through 6 ohm resistor using nodal analysis. It carries about 4 marks. Okay. This is the circuitry. You have to find the current through the 6 ohm resistor. Okay. Let us copy it down. I have already copied. So, let us start doing. So, we have to go for nodal analysis. And nodal analysis makes use of the low KCL, Kirchhoff's current low. Okay. Kirchhoff's current low. And it says that at a node point, if many branches are meeting up and current here is I1, I2, I3. So, at point A, you can say that whatever current is incoming is equal to the outgoing current. That is, if I1 and I2 are incoming. So, let us take I1 plus I2 and I3 is outgoing. So, I1 plus I2 will be equal to I3. Or we can even write like I1 plus I2 minus I3 equal to 0. Or we can again uh, sum up like let outgoing current be positive and incoming current be negative. Then here outgoing current is this one. So I3. It is a positive I3 and incoming currents are I1 and I2. So negative I1, negative I2 equal to 0. Anyway, these all are the basics which you had on plus 2. Now, let us apply the same to solve the question, okay, to find the current through 6 ohm. Before we start on, we have to take a reference point and the reference point is chosen such that where the maximum number of branches meet up together. Here you can see this is the suitable point because four branches are meeting at this point, right. And let us uh, identify the nodes here A and A, B, okay. And Voltage at point A, let it be VA and voltage at point B is VB, okay. And what about the voltage at reference? V reference is equal to 0, 0 voltage. And let us start marking the current directions. Here it is known that 3, amp current, 3 ampere current is incoming, incoming 3 amps. And in this branch, no direction is given. So, if you do not know the direction of current, you please have a mindset that if you do not know the current, then go for an exiting current, okay. Let this be I1 and let this be I2. And now let us start writing the equation. So, keep in mind that if it is outgoing current, make a positive sign and if it is an incoming current, go for a negative, okay. So, in this node, at node A, what happens? Please see. 3 amps is incoming, so negative 3 and I1 is outgoing, isn't it? So, positive I1 and here I2 is outgoing, so positive I2 equal to 0. Now, let us find the values for I1 and I2. See, I1 means current is equal to voltage difference by resistance. What is the voltage difference which happens the flow of I1? Voltage difference is, see current starts to flow from upside to downside. So, voltage difference is upside voltage minus lower side voltage which means you have VA, isn't it? So, VA minus lower side voltage is, see you can see that it is coming to potential 0. VA minus 0 divided by resistance you have is 2 ohm. Plus, what about I2? I2 again uh, equation is voltage dif difference divided by resistance. Voltage difference means since current is flowing from left to right, Voltage difference is left side voltage minus right side voltage, okay. So, left side voltage is VA minus right side voltage is VA, VB. So, VA minus VB divided by the resistor you can have uh, 6 equal to 0. Solving it up, you get like, so this is the equation, let it be equation number 1, fine. Now, let us move on to writing the equation at the node point B. Here again you do not know the direction of current, right? For this branch and this branch. Even though I2 is coming, I2 is incoming, um, but uh, I prefer giving a new direction to this arm, okay? 
because otherwise um, the calculation gets somewhat complex so i'm giving you a way out just put an exiting current wherever you do not know the direction of current okay so here it is let's change the color we do not know the current so it is an exiting current here also we do not know the current give an exiting current here it is known so please follow the same anyway finally we are getting equal directions like uh, everything is exiting so outgoing current every value will be uh, with positive sign let us uh, name this branch current as i3 okay so you can say like at b at b what happens i2 is going out and i3 is also going out plus 12 amps is equal to 0 what's the value for i2 i2 in this case current is flowing from right side to left side so right side potential minus left side potential that is vb minus va divided by 6 right side potential is vb and left side potential is va so vb minus va divided by 6 plus i3 is flowing from upside to lower side so upside potential is vb and lower side potential is 0 so vb minus 0 divided by 7 vb minus 0 divided by 7 plus 12 equal to 0 so your equation is about so this is your equation number 2 now you can easily solve this two equations using calculator equation mode so your value is about va is equal to um, 16.4 volt and vb is equal to 47.6 volt note over we have to find for the current which is passing through 6 ohm okay current through 6 ohm is uh, Vb potential is greater than Va potential, right? So, current through 6 ohm is Vb minus Va divided by 6, which is about 5.2 amps. So, here you have your 4 marks. So, it is that simple, nodal analysis and never miss such kind of questions. It is very easy to work out also. And that's all for today's video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe it. Thank you and take care.